Hey guys, what's up? Wishing you all a very happy new year. Today, we're gonna see how to install MIUI 8 with Android Marshmallow on the HTC One M7. Let's get started. Start by downloading the ROM from the link given in the description box below and all the HTC One M7 models are supported from Verizon, Sprint, AT&T and the International One M7 and you need to be rooted and have a custom recovery installed. Start by switching off your device, wait for it to completely turn off and then start by pressing the volume down and the power button together. Keep holding them for 5 seconds until you boot into the bootloader and then use the volume keys to scroll down and the power button to select the recovery option. You should also see entering recovery on top. Once you're in the recovery, make sure to make a backup of your previous ROM in case anything goes bad. Now go back and go to wipe. Swipe to factory reset. Once done, Go back to the main menu again. Now click on install. Go to the folder where the ROM was saved at. Select the ROM and swipe to flash. This will take you to an installation wizard. Click next. Select your model number from the list. Click next. Now click on install now. Wait for the installation to complete. Once done, click next. Then click finish. This will reboot your device. Now wait for the phone to boot up. It may take around 5 to 7 minutes. Now the phone has finally booted up. MIUI 8 is looking pretty good on the HTC One M7. Let's check the Android version. The phone is running on MIUI 8 layered over Android Marshmallow 6.0.1. You get a lot of customization directly ported from the MIUI 8, including the status bar. You can change your battery display settings. You get second space. You get quick ball with all the navigation buttons. Also you can map the current buttons according to your preferences. You also get dual apps. So basically all the features and customization from MIUI 8 are available on this custom ROM. Everything is working out of the box including network, data, Wi-Fi, calls, etc. Camera and video are also working perfectly. This pink tint is because of some hardware issues with my device, not with the ROM. And the ROM is pretty stable as well. You won't find any major bugs with it. So it can easily be used as a daily driver. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one.